more than just a week since people in Delano learned that a high school staff member was having an inappropriate relationship with an underage student. 23 ABC's Ken Masenshi joins us now with how the community has been coping with that news. Ken? Jackie, though it has been a week, the shock has not worn off in Delano. And one friend of the Perigo family said he is saddened to see the family go through this tragedy. Robert Gonzalez has known Bobby Perigo and his family for years. They're good people. You know, they've worked hard to be where they're at. News of 28-year-old Delano Joint Union High School District employee Bobby Perigo having a sexual relationship with an underage high school student has shocked the city of Delano since it came to light last week. This young man went through the school system, did very good in, in, in his studies and athletics and everything, but this is something that... It, it is going around Delano. It's not just minor. Gonzalez says his attention has been on trying to help the Perigo family. This is a tragedy, and I just hope that everybody will support them in getting help to, for this young man so he can get back on track. Police reports say that Perigo confessed to having the relationship. He says he engaged in the relationship because his three month marriage is struggling, and the student showed him affection. He appeared in court on Monday in Delano for counts of unlawful sexual intercourse and oral copulation with a minor. Police reports say that fellow district employee Juan Brito knew about the relationship and did not report it. Police reports also show that this is not the first time Perigo has been investigated for having a sexual relationship with a minor. In 2009, as a member of the California Highway Patrol, Perigo was investigated for having sexual relations with two underage girls. Gonzalez says that the city will move past this situation. There's forgiveness in everything. You know, we, we just have to do that. But we have to get out and, and help these kids. Perigo will appear in court for a pre-preliminary hearing on Wednesday in Delano. No charges have been formally filed for Brito. In the newsroom, Ken Masenci, 23 ABC.